Now to campaign 2018. Three contenders vying to be Connecticut's next governor squared off on the same stage, answering an hour's worth of questions. Republican Bob Stefanowski, Democrat Ned Lamont, and Independent Oz Griebel all tried to distance themselves from each other and some key issues. Channel 3's Dennis House is live at the Infinity Music Hall in Hartford. And Dennis, you were one of the panelists for this debate. What did you think? I was one of the panelists in East and Mark. Here is the scene right here. This is Infinity Hall where usually musical groups are taking the stage. But tonight it was the three candidates for governor and it was broadcast on all four TV stations plus CPTV will broadcast it later tonight and radio stations were here as well. So that's why it's the CBA, the Connecticut Broadcasters Association. But it was a fairly decent crowd and a fascinating debate. Let's go upstairs to my colleague, Channel 3's Susan Raff, who had a pretty up close and personal view of what went on tonight. Susan, what would you think? Dennis, I think what we heard today are similar to some of the issues that we've been hearing on the campaign trail, but the reality really is is that in just 19 days from now, Connecticut voters will have to go to the polls and decide which of these three candidates they feel will turn the state around. Economy, taxes, jobs are all the things that we've been hearing as they've been debating over these past few months. Now, Republican Bob Stefanowski, his plan, he says, to stimulate the economy is to get rid of the state income tax, but that has not been very very successful in other states. In fact, Kansas and even Wisconsin, it has been a disaster. Ned Lamont and Oz Griebel feel that the way to create jobs is to work closely with companies, large and small, and improve transportation, and we need a much better skilled workforce. And they're making sure, as I said a minute ago, Keisha, that the funding is there, that you're bringing private sector leaders in with Department of Corrections, keep building the, the partnerships, strengthening the partnerships that, that are there. I mean, there's nothing like, uh, there's nothing like building on success. So there's more, to, more that needs to be done, certainly. Uh, but the idea that you've got a strong foundation there and, and leveraging it, to me, is what, that is what our administration would focus on. But this early release program is, is out of control. Um, the recidivism rate, the number of people that go back to prison is over 50%. Uh, we had the incident on the New Haven Green a few weeks ago with the contaminated drugs. One of the dealers of those drugs was arrested 37 times. I think the second chance is working. I think crime is at an all-time low. I think recidivism is down because we're giving people a second chance. We're giving them training, giving them an opportunity going forward. Throughout most of these debates, Republican Bob Stefanowski has mentioned Governor Malloy quite a bit in a very negative way. Here today, we did hear from Ned Lamont and Oz Griebel in a more positive way, saying that when it comes to crime, which is at an all-time low here in Connecticut, that whatever has been working or what has been going on in the last few years with Malloy seems to be working as far as recidivism and keeping the crime rate down low. Again, 19 days before the election, and soon voters will have to decide which one of these three candidates uh, they feel will bring Connecticut back certainly into more economic vitality. We'll have more as you know on Eyewitness News online on our web and on Eyewitness News at 11. So Dennis back to you.